Delaware might be the best state to invest in in the entire United States, and I'm gonna tell you why. Here are the top three ways people are actually investing their money in real estate in Delaware. Number one is the most obvious one, and one you're gonna hear me reference a lot in this video, is Airbnbs, short-term rentals, vacation rentals. Now these homes are popular everywhere, but let me tell you why Delaware might be the most beneficial place in the country to own one right now. We'll start with the basics. The purchase price and property taxes of Delaware are lower than most all the areas around us. On top of that, if you look at any tax map like How Money Walks, you'll see that the population is actually leaving a lot of the surrounding states while Delaware is continuing to increase its population. Now I'm sure your ears perked up when I said that we have an increasing amount of population. Meanwhile, we also have a low property tax and low property price. And that's one of the biggest reasons that makes the money work and the investment work in Delaware in comparison to other states. The second reason Airbnbs work so well is because simply just by owning the real estate in Delaware, you're pretty much guaranteeing yourself as long as we continue to increase our population that home prices will not be sinking anytime soon. Number two is we don't have a lodging tax. And you may not know what that is, but if you do, you're probably thinking, what? So we're one of only five states in the country that offer this feature. And that means that when you have a short term or vacation rental, you don't have to pay any of your profits to the state. And believe it or not, most all other states, 45 other states to be exact, have this rule and it's upwards of 10% of your money that goes back into the state's pockets in this type of tax. Delaware's is zero, along with Alabama and Hawaii, making it one of three states in the entire country that has oceanside property to boast with its Airbnbs. And that, my friend, is the mecca of the short-term rental and Airbnb world, oceans. The third reason the Airbnbs work is because not just the demand for ownership in Delaware, but the demand for tourism. People come down to our beaches all the time from PA, New York, Concord, New Hampshire, all the way up and all the way down to Jersey and alike like Virginia to see our beaches. They're not as populated, which means it's an easier experience than going to some of these other beaches where the boardwalk is packed shoulder to shoulder. It's a more chill experience. The restaurants are great. Food and dining is awesome. Plenty of bars, plenty of clubs if you're into that. Go to Dewey Beach, go to Ocean City. Lots of opportunity, lots of fun for families alike. So these beaches are going to be discovered more and more as we progress into the next decade or two. And if you jump in as one of these Airbnb holders early, it could be a great investment for you. Hey, if you're looking at investing in Delaware property, hit us up. I'm going to give you my personal cell phone number right here. Just text me that you're looking to invest in real estate here in Delaware. I'll hit you back. We'll set up a call and we'll talk about furthering your investing journey here in Delaware with Loft Realty. Let's just go and check out the, the rest of the video. The second biggest investment that we're seeing in Delaware is the flip. The fix and flip, the reno, the rehab, you've heard it said a million times. It's probably the most common real estate investment talked about is buying a property for a low amount, lower than market value that needs repairs and being able to put the repairs into it and being able to sell it for a price point that supersedes the price you bought it for and the repairs put in so that you can make a profit off of selling that home and putting it in a better condition than where it was before. I can tell you right now the five cities in Delaware where people are picking up the most flips at this moment. Dover, Frederica, Seaford, Smyrna, and Camden. That is where I'm seeing the opportunity, whether it be through foreclosures, whether it be through a median income kind of increase that's starting to happen. There's a few different factors that are involved, but if you're looking to flip and Delaware is on your radar, we have a great opportunity too because of this other law that a lot of people don't even know about that exists here in Delaware. And it's less a law, more just something legally you're allowed to do. And that is being able to form and have an LLC for under 150 bucks same day. That's right, you come to the incorporation office here in downtown Dover and you can have a corporation in your hands ready to go by the end of the day. By the end of the hour, you'll have a temporary one that allows you to file for your business license, get your bank account set up, and by the end of the day, you have a business set up or an entity set up that can house the risk and the finances for your financial investments, such as a flip. And you can house all finances through there, making it very simple to do something that's called a 1031 exchange, which is moving the profits from one flip to the next or one real estate investment to another real estate investment tax-free, or at least tax-deferred, because you have to pay the taxes later. We don't like taxes here in Delaware. So if you don't like taxes, Delaware might be the spot for you. 
And the third most common real estate investment right now, coming close, this is for my expert level investors. If you are in the world of thinking, hmm, I want some burrs, this might be the state for you. Now, if I say burr or the burr method and you're like, I have no clue what that means, it just sounds like you're cold, don't feel bad, you're not alone. The burr method is simple. It stands for something and it stands for buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. And if you do that, you have yourself a rental portfolio built while simultaneously flipping properties. Let me explain and then let me tell you why Delaware is a bullseye for this strategy. If you find a property that you're able to buy for say 60, 70% of its market value because it needs a lot of fixing, you can buy that property. Then you can put whatever needed to get it up to living standard. Get it nice, get it better, make it photo fresh, you know? Get it to that point, then rent it out. You preferably want to rent it for something more than what your mortgage is, obviously. But the big key here is you need to be able to rent it for something that's gonna be more than what you're gonna refinance it for. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna refinance the home into your name for the home's current modern day worth. Because you fixed it up, you did a lot to it. There's money to be made now where the bank's gonna give you the difference and you get to keep the rental property. So now, as long as you're renting it for more than your new refied mortgage, you now have a cash flowing rental property and some money back in your pocket, plus of course all your repairs and everything you put into it, you get all that money back. Now you have a bigger lump sum of cash, a producing property, and Delaware is an amazing place to do this. The reason Delaware is so popular right now for this Burr method with the two or three investors I'm working with at this moment that utilize this method time and time again is the fact that Delaware offers the ability to charge a rent that is fair and sustainable while also giving you the opportunity to pay a mortgage that yields some profit to make this a scalable operation for you. Now, of course, none of my clients are in the business of being slumlords or putting their renters or tenants in a situation that is not ideal. We don't do that. We are a veteran owned and operated company. We follow very strict ethos and we bring that to our clients too when they are in the form of ownership of a rental that either we're property managing or we help them buy because our name's attached to that. So we hold pride in that and we make sure that that's reflected in the living conditions that is given to those tenants. With that being said, it still has to be a profitable operation for you, the property owner. And between Delaware's increasing demand, consistent tourism demand, and also the increase in jobs that are being created through the constant cycling of military with the Dover Air Force Base, the already built and foundational hospitals, as well as those being built and expanded in places like Milford and Wilmington and even down in Lewis at the BB's Clinic down there in Lewis. There's a lot of job growth and job opportunity that's going to continue to fuel the micro economy of Delaware. And that's mentioned what we said before, prices should continue to increase with all that being said. And going back into taxes for a flipper, holding a property as you're flipping it is not free. And burrs are the same way. When you're holding that property in any way, shape, or form in your name, you still have property taxes and insurance. And Delaware is famous for having low fees attached to the mortgage, such as the insurance premiums and the property taxes alike, making it easier to be able to profit and supply sustainable living for your tenants. Hey, if you're looking to learn more about Delaware, we have this relocation guide set up for you specifically to learn more about Delaware, the school districts, the counties, the communities, everything you need to know, the golf clubs, the wineries, the restaurants. It's all in this monster 80 page plus guide that we've made for you and it's free to download in the bio. Check it out, promise you won't regret it. So Delaware overall is a great place to live. It's a great place economically for a real estate property to thrive and grow in equity. And on top of that, it makes the numbers work so that you can provide a great living experience for your tenants or a great home on the other side that you can flip or turn into an Airbnb. Delaware is a great investment state, obviously, but you're probably a lot like me. What do I do about it? If you want to invest in Delaware as either your primary property because you're looking to get into the great state or you want to start investing more and more in Delaware, hit this link below. It's a calendar link for us to jump on a call. Let's jump on a call and chat. Let's talk about things. Let's see where you're at in the investment journey and how I here at Loft Realty, a veteran owned and operated company in Dover, Delaware, can help you either get started or ramp up your real estate investing journey. But if not, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time here on our channel.